First, show that for any real number, real constant A, integration over C, e power of Ajad by Z, Dz equal to 2 pi A. Then, write this integral in terms of theta to derive the integration formula 0 to pi e power of A cos theta cos A sin theta d theta equal to pi. Aim. Okay, first of all, you have to show that this, uh, the after that, you, then you have to write, you can write all these things. So, first of all, uh, then we show that this thing. Then you have to write integration, rewrite the integral formula. Principle contour, contour integral, Cauchy integral, Cauchy integral formula, and analytic function method. Let C be the unit disk that equal to z equal to equal to mod z equal to 1. This is a unit disk. I am taking integration over C e power of az by z dz that equal to integration of a power z by z minus 0 dz. I am rewriting this. That means I want to make this in the form of Cauchy integral formula. Here, f of z nothing but e power of j, a z, 0 nothing but z naught. f of z naught, what happen? 0, z naught equal 0, f of 0, that equal e power 0, e power 0 equal to 1. By Cauchy integral formula, integration over c, f of z, z minus z naught, dz equal to what we know, 2 pi i, f of z naught. Here, f of z nothing but e power z, z minus z naught by z to dz that equal to 2 pi i f of z naught nothing but 1 that equal to 1. So, which implies integration over c e power of a z by z dz equal to 2 pi i. I am putting star. So, we want to already this is shown. Now, again we want to write this in the form of e power of theta. Let I am taking z equal to e power i theta which implies dz equal to what I mean i e power i theta d theta. Here theta lies between minus pi to theta less than equal to pi. Integration over c e power of az by z dz equal to integration theta equal to minus pi to pi. I am writing in place of z e power of i theta e power of a e power of i theta by e power of i theta into i e power of i theta d theta. e power of i theta e power of i theta gets cancelled out. What we remain here e power of a e power of i theta into d theta so into some i is there i am writing i here e power of i theta nothing but e power of a e power of i theta nothing but i am writing cos theta plus i sin theta which implies uh, which equal to i into 0 theta equal to minus pi to pi e power of a cos theta e power of a i sin theta d theta that equal to e power of a cos theta e power of i a i sin theta in place of theta what we have here i sin theta again i want to simplify e power of i theta nothing but cos theta plus i sin theta e power of i theta nothing but cos theta plus i theta theta nothing but here a sin theta cos a sin theta plus i a sin theta into d theta the 2 pi i equal to this i am multiplying i with i here 0 theta equal to minus pi to pi i into e power of a cos theta cos a sin theta i into i minus i square i square i square equal to minus 1 that equal to e power of cos theta sin a sin theta into d theta. So, here 2 pi i plus 0 writing here. I am why, why I am writing here? I want to compare. Here I want to show something here. For that I am comparing uh, imaginary part to either. i 2 pi equal to this right. I want to compare this imaginary part. I 2 pi equal to what happen? This is imaginary part to which implies 2 pi equal to theta equal to minus pi to pi e power of a cos theta cos a sin theta d theta. Since cos theta is even function, so this can be written as uh, 2 pi into 0 to theta here theta equal to 0 to pi here cos theta even function this is 0 to 2 pi uh, to the 0 to pi 2 times of this e power of a cos theta cos theta here 0. Here 2 to get cancel of pi equal to what happened 0 to pi e power of a cos theta cos a sin theta d theta which equal to 0 to pi e power of a cos theta cos a sin theta 
data. So this uh, proved result. You can write uh, result your own. Right? Next problem. Let C be the unit circle. Mod z equal to one and f of z equal to exponential of two z. Then evaluate integration of c f of z by z power four dz. Let C is the unit circle. F of z equal exponential z. Since f of z is analytic on C, we can apply Cauchy integral formula. I'm read. Um, this I want to apply Cauchy integral for exchange formula here. F of z equal z power four dz. That equal to e power of two z by z power four dz. By extension of Cauchy integral formula, here I'm writing two pi i by n factorial z minus z naught whole power n plus one f of z by z minus z naught whole power n plus one dz. That equal two pi i n factorial. F nth derivative of z naught. F nth derivative of z naught is what? D of d power of n by d j power n of z. No. At z equal to z naught. What is uh, e power of two z uh, differentiation? E power of two z differentiation two pi i by three factorial d q by d three by z. You can write this if I simplify, you will get uh, eight e power of z. z equal to z naught. You can write e power of three z that equal to z right zero. We can get here two pi i by three factorial, eight e power of zero. That equal to two pi i into eight by six. Three by no six. So if I simplify, integration over c e power two z by z power four d z equal to eight pi i by three. I am taking other problem. Let c be positive oriented circuit. Circuit mod z equal to if f of z equal to z by nine minus z square is analytic within on and c and c. Then evaluate integration of c z dz by nine minus z square z plus i. Let c be the positive oriented circuit. Circuit mod z equal to f of z equal to z minus nine minus z square. Clearly, f of z is only the constant c. Why? Because if I write here three only, it will be uh, zero. But uh, our disk is only mod z equal to two. Outside, I don't know. It does not take values. In this disk, it is only the clearly. By an extension of uh, uh, another formula, this can be written as z by nine minus z square by z plus i can be written as z minus or minus i dz. Here I did not add, but I here our differentiation is one one the Cauchy integral formula apply here two pi i f of z not z not but minus i f of z not f of z equal to this. So if I substitute z equal to here z by nine minus z square z equal to minus i. If I substitute here two pi i into minus i. Nine minus i square that equal to nine plus one. Yeah, i square nothing but minus one. Already minus either minus one or plus plus one. Two pi i by five five by five. So, Cauchy inequality. So uh, this is very important for examination. Find a question. Let a piece analytic inside on simple closed contour C R, whose center is z naught and z naught and radius is or First of, if f of z attains maximum value m more on C R, then integration over f n of z not is z not equal to n factorial by m more or power of n. See, if f is only the cone, simple closed contour C R, whose center is z not, and radius is R. If f of attains maximum value on m more on C R, then this inequality hold. Proof. This is my center of z not, and this is my circle whose center is z not and radius is r. I am taking this is cr. Let cr be the unit of the circle whose center is z not and radius is r. The length of cr is l l two pi r. The length of cr is two pi. Why? Because radius is r. I am taking that length of cr is two pi r. Since f is analytic inside on cr, by extension of Cauchy integral formula. We know that f nth derivative of z not equal to n factorial by 2 pi i. Integration over c f of z by z minus z not whole power of n plus 1 dz star. C r is the unit circle whose center is z not and radius is r, which implies mod z minus z not equal to r. C r is unit circle whose center is z not and radius is r. I am writing this is mod z minus z equal to r. This is my C r equation. By hypothesis, f attains maximum value m on R C. That means, so, which implies f of z is less than or equal to m r for all z belonging to C R. Consider, I am considering that f of z by z minus z not whole power n plus one equal to mod f of z by z minus z not whole power n plus one. f of z less than or equal to m r 
z minus z nothing but to r that r power of n plus 1 i am taking this is m already integral value length of contour is already we know that 2 pi r by applying ml theorem mod f of z equal to this so n factorial by 2 pi r integration over c f of z by z minus whole power n plus 1 I'm applying ML theorem to this. This is can write n factorial by 2 pi i. Here mod of uh, 2 pi equal to only 2 pi. You can need not write here i again. Uh, n factorial by 2 pi only. Not i factorial. Why? Because mod i equal to 1. Integration over c f of z by z minus z by whole power of dz. This expression is less than or equal to n factorial by uh, here mr by r power n. And this length of contour is 2 pi r. By applying uh, this is less than m and integration is ml. So m nothing but mr by r power n, n plus 1, l nothing but 2 pi r. You can simplify this. Uh, n, here there is no i here. n factorial by mr by r power of uh, n. Which implies uh, integration of f n the z0 is less than or equal to n factorial mr power r power n. Here r r get cancelled out. 2 pi 2 pi cancel out n factorial by mr by r power of n. This proved the Cauchy inequality. Leoli theorem statement. If a function f is entire and bounded on complex plane, then f is constant toward the plane. Or every bounded entire function in complex plane is constant. Simple statement is every bounded entire function in complex plane is constant. Proof. Let I am taking that CRB, any contour is a circle whose center is Z0 and radius is R. This is my CR. The equation of CR is mod Z minus Z0 equal to R for R, Z belongs to C. Let I am taking F is only take uh, entire function, entire function. Here and every bounded entire function. I am taking here F is entire function on complex plane, which implies F is analytic on complex plane. Since F is analytic on complex plane, f is also analytic on cr by hypothesis f is bounded on complex plane i am taking this uh, mod f of z less than or equal to mr for all z belongs to c why because f of z f of z is bounded by Cauchy inequality what we know f nth derivative of f, f of z not equal to n factorial by r mr here f first derivative only we have f first derivative of z not n factorial not is but one here this is Cauchy inequality in place of n we have here one f derivative of z0 is less than equal to 1 factor by r which implies f dash of z0 is less than equal to mr as o tending to infinity lim of r tending to infinity mr by r equal to what happens 0 i can write here r equal to infinite that equal to 0 which implies with nothing but for all epsilon to 0 there exist m belongs to z plus such that mode mr minus r minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n grand equal to 0 so this is very small and small which implies f dash of z naught what happened this also less than zero less than epsilon you can take that which implies mode f dash of z is less than epsilon which implies f dash of z equal to zero if f dash of z naught equal to zero which implies f of z here there is no dash f of z naught equal to constant f of z naught equal to constant z naught is any arbitrary value i am taking that z naught is any arbitrary value here in complex pain in place of z0, I may take f of z, which implies f of z is constant throughout the complex plane. Hence, proved Lioli theorem. Fundamental theorem of algebra. So, statement. Any polynomial p of z that equal to a0 plus a1z plus a to z square plus dash dash a n power of a n z power of n. Here, a n not equal to 0, n greater equal to 0 has at least one zero in complex plane C, that is, there exists Z0 belongs to C such that P of Z0 equal to zero. Or every polynomial degree a n, n grand equal to one, and a n not equal to zero has at least one zero in complex plane. Here n grand equal to but it is a non constant polynomial. Why? Because non constant polynomial does not have any zeros. Let f of z, p of z equal to a naught plus a1 z plus a2 z square plus z dash a in z power n comma a n naught equal to 0 and a n equal to 0. Here my p of z is non constant polynomial in C. Which implies every polynomial is entire function which implies p of z is also a entire function. Suppose p of z does not have zeros in I want to prove in contradiction level. 
the proof me my proof is in contradiction level suppose p of z does not have zeros in complex plane which implies p of z does not equal to zero for all z belonging to c let i am taking f of z equal to 1 by p of z for all z belonging to c is defined since why we got here my p of z not equal to zero it can be written as f of z equal to 1 by p of z for all z belonging to c is defined which implies f of z equal to 1 by p of z is also entire function since p of z is entire function f1 by f of z also a entire function since uh, p of z not equal to 0 f of z is 1 by p of z is bounded this is not equal to 0 it is a bounded f of z is bounded and entire on c by leal theorem what we know every bounded and entire function is constant in complex plane right every uh, every under uh, every bounded and entire function is uh, constant in complex plane that nothing but f of z equal to 1 by p of z is constant so is f of z is bounded and uh, it is entire so it is constant uh, which implies i am uh, writing here p of z goes this side 1 by p of z is 1 by f of z because this com comes this side which implies p of z is constant which is contradiction why because my p of z is non g non constant to polynomial therefore p of z has does not have zero is contradiction therefore p of z have zeros that means there exists at least one z not belongs to such that p of z equal to zero this proves fundamental theorem of algebra this end lecture 5 thank you for watching this